Hello, hello, Cancers. Welcome back. Welcome back to Queen Cancer Tarot channel, everyone. I am the host. My name is Catherine. I'm here to bring you clarity, guidance, and love messages. I have timeless readings for all of our lovely Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is a general love reading, so please take this energy, how it resonates with your energy and with the person that is closest to you. If you are new to this channel, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click on the watermark on the bottom right corner of your screen so that your energy can resonate with this message, okay? Um, I do a giveaway every month for everyone who is subscribed, so please make sure you are subscribed. Everything that I give away is in the description box below, and I do a weekly giveaway, which I am very late, you guys. I had a doctor's appointment today. My hand was hurting. I had personal readings I had to catch up on, and I've just been really, really bogged down. So please Please forgive me. I am a little off schedule, but I am going to be getting back on schedule this week. I am still going to be announcing the winners though, so please stay tuned and keep your notifications on because I will be getting on and announcing the winners for this week. All right. Okay. So let's get started. We're just going to look at some Oracle first and then we will take a look at Cancer's energy, Cancer's person's energy. I did go to the doctor today for those of you who are new. new. I recently had hand surgery or surgery um, on my hands last year. And then I had surgery on my finger um, two weeks ago. So I am in the healing process. I was just kind of released uh, by the doctor today. I got my stitches out. Um, baby got her stitches out, and so yeah, so now I am actually operating with my hands now with nothing on them, and I'm kind of feeling like a crab does. I want to go and cover them up again because I feel like vulnerable, so yeah, there's that. Okay, Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell me about cancer. Please. Tell me about cancer. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Okay. So we have Etan Seduction. This is also represents the devil, number 15 in the major arcana. We have Hasabi Accountability. This is number eight or the strength card in the major arcana. Strong Capricorn. Strong Leo energy. We have the Divine Feminine or the Void here. Okay. And then we have Oya and protection. So we could be um, talking about uh, someone that you have children with or you may have children with someone. I'm getting a very feminine, motherly energy here, divine feminine, feminine and protection. So this could be in regards to a child, your child, someone that you have children with. Um, the devil here and the strength card. So there is someone who has some sort of an addiction or an obsession with something. Um, but there's an energy of this person is holding back. They're not giving in to temptation here. With protection, I feel like there's an energy of being divinely protected, um, you know, being looked out for with divine feminine or the void here. Um, this could be a parent. This could be a mother, a baby mother, but there's someone who's looking out or protecting someone. Um, so cancer, this could be you. Um, but with this uh, devil energy here, that was the first card out. Very strong Capricorn energy. Uh, 
Yeah, there's someone, and this could be referring to someone who is protecting their child from a situation where there is some sort of an addiction or uh, potential for addiction. So this could be, you know, a situation with, you know, rugs, you know what I mean? I'm not saying the whole word here. I don't want to get struck here by YouTube guidelines. Um, but yeah, the D word, y'all. Okay, somebody could be um, addicted to some form of narcotic. Okay. With accountability here and protection, again, there's an energy of someone who is protecting their child by keeping them away from this. So this could represent an energy of a mother and, you know, like you live in a neighborhood where, you know, like drugs are becoming more and more of an issue. So you decide to pick up and leave. You move, literally move to a safer location where there's less like, you know, drug and gang activity. I said the word. Oh, my gosh, I can't get away from it. So there's less of that activity going on. So, you know, yeah, I feel very strongly that this is a parent who is protecting a child um, from this. Okay. So whether it is, you know, literally physically moving a child away from an area or there's an energy of protecting your child from a particular person, who is like, who is like seeking your child out, okay, to try to get them to, you know, take part in this behavior, okay? Tell me more about this energy here. Tell me more about this for cancer holy spirit angels and guys tell me about cancer please holy spirit angels and guys tell me about cancer please tell me about this devil card here holy spirit angels and guys tell me about this devil card here tell me about seduction and we have the nine of wands in the reverse. Okay. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And, you know, this is an energy of, um, you know, things are not going well. No matter how hard it is, it seems like you try, you know, to overcome this situation. It seems like things just don't get better. No matter how much you try to, you know, keep your child out of harm's way, it's like no matter where you turn, here you go. So this talks about someone who's putting in a lot of effort to try to keep someone away or to try to work something out and it's not working for them with the moon here under the deck. This can also refer to an energy of someone who is addicted. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. But that moon energy, this can also refer to someone who is you know, coming with some sort of an illusion, you know what I'm saying? Or someone keeping secrets or someone who's trying to keep you in the dark or there's something hidden. So again, you know, with that moon energy that just reinforces this situation here that someone is like trying to get your child or someone is trying to get your person to keep some sort of a secret here, or no matter how much you try to um, tell this person that this isn't safe, you know what I mean? Or that this person is a problem. There's an energy of 
you know, this person is still managing to get to your person somehow. Okay. But this just talks about no matter what you try to do to keep this person out of harm's way, it seems like it just trouble just follows them when it comes to this. Okay. Tell me about accountability here. Tell me about accountability or the strength card here. When we have the star, I feel like there's an energy that, you know, this kind of gives you hope or this is like one of the only things that keeps you, you know, sane. You know what I mean? It's like, this is the only way you feel like you have control over the situation. All right. Um, this is also an energy when you think about the star, you're thinking about healing. Okay. You're thinking about um, wanting to to turn someone from one delay, sorry. So this, this is like an energy of going from hurt to healing, okay? Going from hurt to healing here. Under the deck, the seven of cups. The seven of cups is also an energy of confusion or someone who is confused or there's a lot, they have a lot of choices um, or a lot of options. And this person is having a hard time, you know, making a decision. Okay. So it could be an energy of, you know, putting positive things in front of this person. It's almost like if you give this person healthy choices, they'll make, they'll make healthy choices. You give them healthy options, they'll make healthy choices. Okay. So I feel like with the star and the seven of cups here, there's an energy of, you know, with the strength card, it's like this person is not going to go wrong because you have this motivating positive person that's in their corner that's constantly, you know, giving this person, you know, good, good advice, constantly telling this person, you know, you can do this, you can do that, or giving this person an option, you know what I'm saying, other than just that one negative thing. And I feel like this is what this person needs. Okay. Tell me about divine feminine or the void. Tell me about divine feminine here. And look, we have the five of, of wands. So this is an energy. There could have been a conflict in this person's upbringing or in their childhood. There could be an energy where this person felt abandoned. Okay. This again um, talks about a conflict when you look at the five of wands and you see the void here with divine feminine. So look, you have the three of pentacles under the deck. So there was some conflict. Um, I feel like there was some conflict early on here. That three of pentacles talks about people working together. Okay. And I feel like there was just a conflict, you know, in this person's home life or maybe with their mother. Do you know what I'm saying? Maybe there's an energy of, you know... If this is someone that you're dating, I feel like this is an energy of this person had issues in their home. But for this reason, I feel like you're very protective of this person. Okay. If this is a child, I feel like this is an energy of this person had some sort of, you know, um, problems or issues early on and you had to, you know, protect or look out for this child more than normal. Tell me about protection here. Ooh, look, you got the 10 of wands in the reverse. 
Okay, so this talks about an energy of someone who is, um, they're, they're pretty much, they're burnt out. This is somebody who has had to provide um, or who has spent a lot of time protecting someone. And there's an energy of, you know, not getting any assistance. Like they're taking all of the burden of this on their shoulders. So there could be an energy of a single mother. When you see vo the void here with divine feminine, there could be an energy of, you know, this, you could be a single mother and you may have a child who's struggling with this issue and you are dealing with this by yourself. I feel like you are not getting a lot of help from your partner or the kid's father potentially with the death card under the deck. So there's an energy of you walked away from this, or this is the reason why you walked away from your person. There it is. <clears throat> there it is, Cancer. There it is. So you are, there's an energy where you are dealing with someone or you were in a connection with someone. You had a child with this person. This child has had some issues um, dealing with an addiction or some situation outside of themselves, okay, where they were like addicted to something, some negative or lower vibrational energy. And I feel like your partner was not giving you the support that you needed to deal with it. There's an energy of not working as a team. You see what I'm saying? With divine feminine and the void, there's an energy of you had to do this on your own without the cooperation of that other person there to help you out through this situation. I, I know um, what that's like, not dealing with a child that, you know, has a, a issue with uh, narcotics, but just having a child that has had some difficulties in life period and having to deal with you know, that on my own, you know what I'm saying? That like, I understand and resonate with that. Okay. All righty. So let's look at, did I look at the energy underneath the deck? Let's go ahead and look underneath the deck here. Sexuality, solitude, and we have family here. Sexuality, solitude, and family. So this could be someone who's dealing with issues or, you know, around their sexuality. Um, there's an energy with solitude here. Um, maybe because of this being a one, you know, like a single parent household, you know, there's like one point of view being the divine feminine void of that masculine energy. So there's an energy of this person okay, or this child only having that one view. So maybe, you know, if you're, if you have, say you have a daughter, okay, um, and you're a single mother, okay, and the father is missing, okay, so then there's the aspect of having that divine feminine, okay, aspect, but you don't have that divine masculine aspect for that daughter to relate to. Okay, so there's an energy of um, this child is having some issues around this. This could be a main factor in why there's some issues here. This child may be having some issues with their sexuality here. Tell me about sexuality, please. Tell me about sexuality, please or identifying with themselves. We have the six of swords. This talks about someone who's 
moving away from something very, you know, like quickly moving away from something. Leaving behind, and this could be a mentality. Leaving behind. So someone is leaving behind their sexuality. So with the four of wands under the deck here, this talks about commitment here. Okay. And this is, does talk about relationships. Okay. Um, so someone could be, you know, and this talks about your sense of belonging. You know what I'm saying? Feeling at home, feeling like you belong. So someone could be moving away from how they view their sexuality, okay? And moving towards something different or a different point of view, okay? So there could be an energy of someone who's confused. I mean, I have that both of those cards that reflect confusion here. So you could be dealing with someone who is confused about their sexuality and the fact that there's only this one sex household, you know, it's kind of a, a, a one point of view situation here. Okay. Um, tell me about solitude. So there's an energy of feeling like kind of alone. Tell me about solitude. Holy Spirit. Okay. So we have the Ace of Cups and the King of Swords here. Now the Ace of Cups talks about someone who it talks about having a, a deeper level of intimacy or uh, going to a deeper, deeper level in the connection, okay, or having a deeper, deeper level of understanding. Now with that King of Swords, the King of Swords refers to authority. So there's an energy of having... Um, Feeling like so a deeper level of authority that's like how one goes about justifying their actions, what they do, what they say. You know what I'm saying? It's like someone who, you know, they come in with their own ideas of how things should go. Um, and, you know, that's how they operate. Very confident people. Also, um, kind of, uh, they kind of come off as a little off-putting, okay? Because they're very direct, okay? This person speaks with authority. Okay, they'll tell you that they're here to do what they got to do and no one's going to tell them any differently. Um, you know, I feel like there's an energy of spending so much time alone that this person has developed their own ideas on how things should go. So it's almost like a very self led way of thinking, a very self-led way of thinking here. All right. And look, you have the devil under the deck. And I feel like this is what has been the catalyst to this person's addictive lifestyle, or this is kind of what led this person down this addictive chain. You know what I'm saying? Because they justified their actions. Maybe there's an energy of this person felt like this was their way of, you know, expressing themselves. You know what I mean? Um, The Ace of Cups is someone who is very, like, very loving, very giving of love. Someone who is very quick 
to be intimate. Okay. Um, and I feel like I said, again, being by yourself and developing this mentality of this is the way relationships go. Um, this is, has become or led this person down a very addictive path. It's easy for this person to get addicted to love in general. Do you know what I'm saying? Tell me about family, please. Tell me about family. And we have the page of wands. Again, there's an energy of someone who's very quick to uh, either get pregnant, have children. This is somebody who's quick to, you know, move out and go and get their own family with the Wheel of Fortune underneath the deck. OK, this is someone who is very abundant. OK, this is someone who's very quick to um, get what they want. OK, when it comes to this, I feel like this is also someone who is going to have a lot of children. OK, somebody who's going to have a lot of children. Um. Hmm. Oh, hold on just a second. My battery is low. I need to pause my system. Okay, this could, um, sorry guys, I'm back. This could also represent uh, someone that has uh, a sexual addiction. Now there could be an energy of that taking place. Yeah, this could be, like I said, and this person could um, have uh, children very early, okay? This could be someone that ends up having uh, a lot of children very early on here. Page of Wands with the Wheel of Fortune and family, okay? This is just talking about someone who is taking risks early on or having an abundance, Um in a family or a very large family because of this very active behavior um, or very active uh, or, yeah. So y'all know what I, y'all know what I'm saying. You get busy early on in life, you are likely to start popping out children early, okay? And the sooner, the more uh, likely you are to have a bigger family. It's just, math. <laughs> it's it's science and math. All right. At the same time. So, okay. So yeah. So there's your energy. Um, this could be your person's energy as well. Take it how it resonates. Um, let's go ahead and pull some cards for the other side here. Ooh. Tell me about cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. Tell me about cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. Woo. Look, we got all the cards all at one time here. Number 17 in the major arcana, which is the star. Okay, so we have the star here. And then we have sorcery, revolution. So we have transcend and revolution on one side. And then we have restoration and create on the other. Hermetic, create. Okay, underneath the deck, we have freedom. It's already happened. Gratitude Rampage, and we have tradition here. Freedom, it's already happened, and tradition. Definitely an energy of, you know, talking about one's ancestors. Um, this could be something that is karmic. So this could be something that your mother went through. Or, you know, this could be like a karmic 
a uh, situation or a uh, karmic like bloodline situation or generational curse with freedom here there's an energy of one being freed from this karmic situation okay so i feel like this is something that maybe your parent went through your parents parent went through but there's an energy of the buck is going to stop here with transcend and restoration revolution and create I feel like there is going to be something new that is going to be created here with this infinity symbol and transcend. I feel like there's an energy of things are not going to end, but they are going to change. They're going to transcend with restoration here. Things are going to be brought back to their original godlike state. OK, things are going to be made whole here revolution and create again revolution talks about you know creating a change okay creating change this is someone who's holding an inhaler okay they're holding an inhaler um so this is like someone is bringing something in and and bringing and breathing it out you think about um revolution things are changing or things are constantly evolving and revolving every time things change but they all remain the same there's an energy of things change but they remain the same okay um with create there's an energy of creating something new but you are restoring things back to the way that they are supposed to be okay there's an energy of just because this is the way that you were raised or this happened when you were brought up because this is you know the way your your mother was raised so this is the way that the only thing that they knew there's an energy of ascending beyond that aspect okay and not making excuses, not kind of going through those same karmic situations, but learning those lessons, ascending so that you don't have to repeat those mistakes over and over and over again. Okay. Tell me about transcend, please, or tell me about cancer. Let's just these cards here tell me about transcend here universal oneness transcend the seven of swords here okay and the three of cups you know this does talk about um friends family getting together celebrating having a good time it's more so friends um getting together a uh, social gathering okay and with that seven of swords um it's also an energy of belonging you know what i'm saying and being happy in the place where you gather okay um with that seven of swords Doors, there's an energy of feeling like that was taken from you. Okay. So I feel like very early on, okay, with universal oneness here and transcend, I feel like there's an energy of, you know, feeling abandoned or feeling left very early on. And this is kind of the thing that needs to be changed. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I'm sorry. Um, but so for this this one here, let's let's look at this for universal oneness. Um I, I am getting an energy with universal oneness and restoration. Um this is talking about healing inside and out okay that's why you have that ribbon that's going inside the skull and out it's kind of 
weaving a bit of a infinity symbol, okay? Universal oneness. And this is all about transcending here. My energy, well, what I'm resonating with, with the seven of swords, this talks about being alone, a lone ranger, like I was saying. But with that three of cups, there's an energy of being with others. Do you know what I'm saying? And I feel like universal oneness here, it's giving me vibes of just because you're alone does not mean you're not connected to others. You know what I'm saying? Part of a larger family or group. Do you see what I'm saying? So there's an energy of, you know, you know, feeling, maybe even feeling alone or feeling abandoned, but while yet you are still connected, you there's an energy of being connected here. And then we have this star energy here. Again, this is healing. Um, Arawo, Arawo. This is inner and outer healing. I'm sorry. That's what Arawo stands for. This is the star. This is the star, not universal oneness. Okay, that's transcending. Okay, um, and I feel like this is also about you changing and growing. Okay, and this, I don't feel like this is representative of your energy. However, I feel like this is the energy of the other person here. Now, this other person could be a parent. Okay, um, or this could be a, a romantic energy here, but I'm getting a parent here. Okay, I'm getting parent here. Now, you see, there's two vases here. Now, this represents, or this can represent an, an uh, represent an energy of you feeling a sense of relief being poured out. Okay, of both vases. Okay, this is you know. It's like the art of being a part of something bigger, okay? Um, so, yes. Restoration, healing, okay? Healing. Healing inside and out. Now, with sorcery and um, hermetic or create, you have revolution and create. This is showing you a picture of an inhaler here or someone who's breathing. Okay? Breathing is basically what I'm getting here. Um and if you think of what an inhaler is used for, it's someone who is having trouble breathing, okay, or has some sort of a respiratory ailment, maybe, okay, um, and there's medicine that's inside of this inhaler, right? Um, in this case, it's the cannabis oracle deck, so we know that the medicine in here is cannabis uh, related, but there's an energy of, there's medicine here to help this person to breathe. Now, the term asthma was derived from Hippocr uh, Hippocrates, who was a fifth century physician, okay? And he used this term called aizine, aizine, A-A-Z-E-I-N. A azine. And this was used to describe respiratory distress. Okay. So hypocrisies was in the fifth century. <laughs> that was a long time ago. All right. Long time ago. So think about that. You also think about what the ancient Chinese do. They, um, 
smoke opium, okay, to help with lung uh, diseases. And the Greeks, the Greeks inhaled smoke from burning herbs. Traditionally, these were all things that were done. And if you think about that, it's like everything that you need is already here, right? You think about the Chinese and then you think about the Greeks. These are some of these are two of the longest living peoples on earth. Both of these cultures, okay, have the longest living humans are from these races of people. Okay, and if you think about that, come on, look at it. Everything that you need is already here. You can create your own medicine, okay? You can create your own medicine. And you think about revolution, it talks about change or revolution. It's an energy of everything evolves, okay? Everything evolves and things change constantly. Things are constantly changing. If you think of a revolution, it's it's the scientific term, I believe. If you think about a revolution, it's a full orbit. It's like a complete orbit around the sun. You think of revolution, it's like a circular orbit. It's making, uh, it's, making its path around the sun. So it's turning. It's going through a complete turn. Okay. Um, and with create, it's like create your own medicine. You have everything that you need to be abundant here. Um, so yeah, create your own healing here as well. Okay. Um, and if you think about it back in the day, back in those ages, okay. Um, I guess you would use the term middle ages. Um, they would, they would consider medicine sorcery. They would consider medicine sorcery. Like you would be considered a, like a witch or some sort of a, you know, person that practices um, arts, the, you know what I'm saying? The occult. Um, so there was a fine line. Okay. Um, and they would also, a lot of this, I think, would just bog down to them needing to have someone take responsibility, you know, when things happen that they can't explain. So, but, you know, I'm going off on a tangent here, but again, we have sorcery and we have um, hermetic here or create. So this talks about a reminder to breathe. Okay. This is a reminder to breathe. And I am equating this to breathing new life. Because if you think about creation, this is all about new life. Okay. And with sorcery here, there's an energy of breathing new life for someone who is going to be surviving through something or healing from something that pretty much almost took them out. Okay. So under the deck here with freedom, it's already happened in tradition. Again, this is all about being grateful for the blessings that you already have. Okay. So this is a beautiful uh, energy of manifestation um, and someone just putting themselves in position to receive. Okay. Vry is freedom. So I feel like there's an energy of being free from that bondage that we saw in the previous um, person's energy here. 
Cancer, in your energy when we saw the uh, Eton here. Eton. Okay. So, and this is all about being restored from this situation. Feeling alone. You know what I mean? Being a victim here. Or feeling alone and abandoned. But you're not that. You're absolutely not that. Um, like I said, gratitude rampage. It's like you're going on a gratitude rampage. Like you're so thankful that you're singing it out loud. You know what I'm saying? You're singing praises of your gratitude. That's how happy. So there's an energy of overcoming something with freedom here. This is an energy of overcoming Okay, overcoming that bondage, overcoming that devil energy. And this is also the fool. This is number uh, zero in the major arcana here. So this is representative of the fool jumping off that cliff. Okay, taking a risk and jumping off that cliff. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and clarify here. Um, with tradition here, again, I feel like this is that energy. I feel very strongly that this could be the energy of a maternal figure. This could be the energy of a maternal figure. Um Let's just see. I feel like this could be a female. So we have a Rauro Restoration, the star card, and we have the Six of Cups here. So this is a, talking about someone from the past, okay, coming in, wanting to reconcile. The star also is an energy of forgiveness, healing, okay, once again, healing inside and out. Under the deck, the Nine of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Um, and this talks about being happy, being content, being satisfied. I feel like this person from the past is, you know, coming in, you know, wanting to heal things, but also in a very positive energy. You have a lot of cups here. So you have the six cups here and the nine of cups, 15 cups. <laughs> One plus five is six. So we're right back to six. Nine is nothing but six upside down. <laughs> All of this is um, reflective of someone coming back around in the picture from your past. Tell me about sorcery here or revolution. Tell me about sorcery and the two of pentacles. So someone is going back and forth. Remember, that, you know, I describe this as just breathe. Mm, and we have the two of wands under the deck. Okay, the two of wands and the two of pentacles. Yeah, just breathe. It's like going back and forth, um, being anxious, you know what I'm saying? When, you know, you just need to just let go. There's an energy of needing to let go. You have the death card here. And the ten of wands under the deck. Protection. And it's a ten of wands in the reverse. Yeah, there's an energy of needing to let go. Um of those who are not helping you, those who are just 
not giving you any support whatsoever. There's an energy of letting go and creating your own situation. Okay, making it work for yourself. Tell me about this. Tell me about create, please. Tell me about create, please. Ooh, that one in the reverse. So we have the sun in the reverse. And the Knight of Cups in the reverse. Like I said, the Knight of Cups is a very passive aggressive energy. And that sun in the reverse is a very pessimistic, um, just conceited, um, very spoiled energy. You know what I mean? Has to have their way or the highway. And the Knight of Cups in the reverse, this is someone who, you know, they run hot and cold with their feelings. They say something and then they mean something else. Or they say something in one minute, five minutes later, this person is on a completely different energy here. Um, and this is when this person does not get what they want here. This is when this person does not get what they want here. Under the deck, the justice card here. Yeah, I feel like this person that's coming in to reconcile, it's like if you don't give this person what they're looking for, this person, it's like this person is going to act out here. Let's see here. I'm sorry, hold on just one second. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, but I feel like, like I said, there's an energy of um, this is karmic. Okay. What goes around, there's an energy of what goes around, comes around. And I, I think I did say that with this situation being like a, a uh, karmic lesson here. Okay, um, it's like an energy of a unit of a, I was going to say a generational curse. Okay, something that keeps happening and someone is having to learn their lesson to stop the cycle, break the cycle. Okay, and with freedom, it's already happened. Gratitude rampage here and tradition. I feel like this is exactly what is going to be taking place here. The cycle is going to be broken. Tell me about freedom. And look, the nine of pentacles. Y'all, this represents freedom at its finest. The nine of pentacles is pre-empress energy. Okay, this is all about independence. It's all about independence. Freedom and independence. Okay, financial freedom at that. Under the deck, six of wands, someone who is extremely successful, or this is somewhere where you are going to be, others are going to see how successful this situation is, but this is going to be something that's very visual, where other people are, you know, recognizing that this is what's happening here. So other people are going to see you glow up here, basically. 
Okay, or this could be your person. Tell me about gratitude rampage or it's already happened. So look, we have the eight of pentacles and the 10 of pentacles. Gorgeous. It's already happened. This is someone who's working hard, so hard that they can't even look up and realize that they got 10 pentacles before they know it. They have been working so hard. Their eyes been on the prize and they have been focused on their goal. And it's getting ready to, they're getting ready to get everything they want. Two of cups underneath the deck. So this is a connection that is going to be healed here. And you have the seven of pentacles here in the back. Ground. So this is a connect time, but I feel like the minute your person starts to work on themselves, okay, focus on themselves, that is when things are really going to come together. Tell me about tradition. Tell me about tradition, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. Tell me about tradition. Holy Spirit. Okay. Look at that. Nine of swords in the reverse. This talks about lessons being learned. What did I tell you? Karmic lessons are learned. You have broken the cycle. This is like an energy of something that your, your mom went through with her mom and a similar situation. You went through it with your mom. Your mom may not have done so well at this in particular, and you two may be suffering a broken situation because of this, because of this generational curse. However, you are the one that has been sent here to break the chain because now you have children of your own, perhaps. Do you see what I'm saying? And there's an energy of now this karmic lesson, okay, has come full circle. It's now happening with yours, you and yours. And there's an energy with this wheel of fortune. This talks about things coming full circle, okay? Um with family here. See what I'm saying? Family ties are running deep here. This is a karmic cycle, but you are about to break it. Nine of swords in the reverse talks about someone learning a karmic lesson or a lesson in general. Okay. This talks about survival. This talks about things getting better going, you know, like we're on, we can only go upwards from here. Do you see what I'm saying? It cannot get worse. It can only get better. So there's an energy of tradition. You are changing or switching it up for the generations to come. You know, your little grandchildren. See, Ace of Wands under the deck. Okay, this is an energy of excitement. Okay, having a lot of passion, believing in something saying yes to that something here. So it's all about having those traditions, those things that you believe in and standing up for whatever it is that you believe in. So this was very gorgeous. I'm going to take this into an extended. I want to look to see what the challenges are that you may face with this person. Um, are you going to heal this connection with this person and be able to move forward. Um, what is going on with your situation? Um, you know, once you break the cycle, is it going to remain broken or, you know, is there going to be some issues with those that come after you? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like your children and your children's children, are they going to have to deal with these same problems. And if they do, will they get through it? So we'll look at all of that future predictive Oracle messages, all of that in extended. And we will also do a breakout part two in the extended and look at cancer versus all 12 signs. We will look at the advice for you cancers and the final outcome. All right. And the link for the extended is in the description box below. I'll be back to announce the winners in just a bit. 
I love you guys so much. Take care. And I will see you live later today.